Yeah, very, very difficult to watch, um, as you can imagine. The Israeli army uh, invited journalists to a screening uh, of raw footage of those massacres carried out on uh, October the 7th. Uh, they put together a 45-minute uh, video compiled uh, from hundreds of hours, they said, of footage from uh, dash cams, body cams worn by members of Hamas, uh, body cams from first responders, mobile phone footage, uh, and uh, very, very distressing images uh, indeed. I think uh, one piece of footage that really marked people uh, sitting and sitting and watching in the auditorium uh, showed uh, a father uh, running and carrying his two sons in a kibbutz uh, to uh, a shelter. Um, and then uh, the father was killed. Uh, the two sons run back uh, to the kitchen uh, and you can hear them screaming uh, in the kitchen uh, on the footage. Uh, asking why they're alive, uh, where, where's their mum, where's their dad. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, their father's killer is uh, stood next to them, helping himself to drinks uh, from the fridge. Uh, so very, very surreal, uh, very awful uh, scenes. Uh, we were also shown uh, audio, uh, an audio recording of uh, a member of Hamas uh, using uh, a phone, the phone of a, of a dead Jewish woman, to call uh, his uh, parents in the Gaza Strip to boast uh, about how many people uh, he'd killed. So a lot of loud gasps in the auditorium, uh, crying, uh, and a lot of people just simply unable to watch. As you say, difficult for you to watch that footage, Andrew. Um, I'm interested, though, why you think the Israeli army decided to show journalists like yourself these videos. Um, uh, it's a good question. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the Israeli army spokesperson, Daniel Hagari, he, he spoke just before showing uh, the footage. He said that uh, he wanted uh, to show people uh, who they were fighting. Um, after He said that after October 7th, uh, something had changed. The nature of the enemy had uh, changed. Uh, but in a nutshell, this is really about, I think, the battle for public opinion. Not here in Israel, of course, but around uh, the world. It's been two weeks since those uh, massacres. And since then, of course, Israel has responded with heavy bombardments in the Gaza Strip. We we, we, we've seen and heard uh, of Palestinian civilians, innocent Palestinian civilians uh, being killed, of course. We've seen and heard the pictures and the testimony. But I think uh, Israel wants us not to forget, uh, of course, what they suffered too on October the 7th uh, with the uh, horrific scenes that uh, we saw once again today.